Hi everyone. I am Sangeeta, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Kaiser Arts and Science College for Women, Tirchangod. Today we learn about problem solving techniques, Unit 4. First, data. Data can be defined as a representation of fact, concept or instruction in a formalized manner, which should be suitable for communication, interpretation or processing by the human or electronic machine. Data is represented with the help of characters such as alphabet, characters A, capital A to Z, small a to z, digits 0 to 9 or special character plus, minus, slash, char, less than, greater than, equal to etc. Numeric data. There are two categories of numeric data types, exact and approximate. Exact data type including the integer data type and decimal data type. Approximate data type including the pathing point data types. Integer data types, integer, small int, integer, integer 8, etc. Decimal data type. The decimal data type is a exact number data type defined in terms of its precision and scale. Precision means total number of digits. Scale means number of digits to the right of the decimal point. Ex following, uh, the following example of precision and scale in decimal values. Floating point data type. A floating point value is represents either as whole plus fractional digits or as a mantasa plus and an exponent. The following is an example of the mantasa and the exponent part of the following points value. F character data type. Fixed length characteristic can contain any printing or non-printing character and the null character. The char character string are padded with blank to the declared length. Leading and embedded blanks are significant when the comparing character string. For example, the following character are the considered the different A space B space C or A B C. This is the difference from the characters. Where character data type. Where character string or variable length string. The where character data type can contain any character including non-printing characters and the ANSI null character. Array. Array is a collection of items of the same data type stored at continuous memory location. This makes it easier to calculate the position of each element by simply add, adding an offset to a base value that is the memory location of the first element of array generally denoted by the name of the array. The base value is index 0 and the difference between two index is the offset. One dimensional array. One of the most common structure of array in which the value are stored in the one dimensional array structure. A one dimensional array is the simplest form of an array in which the elements are stored linearly and can be accessed individually by specifying the index value of each element stored in the array. A one dimensional array is group of element having the same data type which are stored in a linear arrangement under a single variable name. Declaration syntax data type array name array size where array name equal to name of the 1D array. Array size define the number of element in the array. Initialization syntax to initialize the 1D array we simply add a list to the right side of the declaration syntax of 1D array. The simple terms we assign the value to declared 1D array as per the array size specification. Example int array of 10, int roll number 10, character name equal to 30. This is the example. Two dimensional array. Two dimensional array are simply an array of array where the data is stored in tabular format. Two-dimensional di two array are simplest form of multi-dimensional array where the data value are stored in multiple row and columns. Syntax data type array name x and y. Data type equal to type of the data to be stored in array. Example integer, character, etc. x is equal to number of row, y equal to number of column. That's like numbers. Two-dimensional array initialization. Int array equal to array 3 2 equal to 100 10 200 20 330 is, is the example int, int is data type arr is a, is a variable name 3 2 3 is row 2 is column thank you